Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, into the O'Keefe Center where your 0-1 Swamp Scott Big Blue take on the 0-2 Rockport Vikings. Uh, I'm Dawson Berry. Alongside me, my partner, Ben O'Brien, as Swamp Scott looks to bounce back from their opening season loss Wednesday night. Yeah, the key today for Swamp Scott is trying to win the zone time battle and help their sophomore goalie, Jason Buffard, who looked good in his debut. For sure. Buffard had 38 saves in the losing effort. But the score does not paint the picture on his performance as his team did not provide the help he needed on, on either side of the puck. On the offensive side, Swamp Scott just needs to slow down the game, make easier passes, and get the puck on net. Yeah, and it's going to be up to the first line to set the, temp the tone for the rest of the team as Pierce, Sprague, and Gadden provided the lone goal for Be against Beverly. Yeah, good to see the senior, Max Gadden, get on the board early in the season as he plays his final games for the Big Blue. And we are about... One minute away from um, from opening puck drop, and I believe if Swan Scott can play a cleaner game than they did Wednesday night, they can take their first win of the year. That'll be us out it for the pregame intro, and puck drop is next.
And we are ready for puck drop here at the Rock as Aiden Sprague draws it up with Mike Nocella. And the opening drop is won by Rockport as they advance it into the neutral zone and they will dump it in, taken by TJ McCarthy. Misfires for Sprague. Now a race to the loose puck and it is dumped in by Rockport. McCarthy tries to get it to Pierce and it fight for it on the boards and take it away by Pierce and he gets it out of the defending zone and dumps it into the offensive zone chased down by Sprague and Gadden. Crompton comes out of his net and plays it and Swanstra trying to apply pressure and take it away and up the right side here comes Rockport up the right wing it is Dougie Pratt and he gets it back to the point and a shot goes through the slot and wide and Pratt now has it gets it back to the point and a shot is blocked down instantly by Zach Pierce fight for the puck. Won by Swanscott as Gadden takes it up and dumps it in. We'll look for the first change. Now collected by Rockport in their own zone. Pass up the right wing to Aiden Arnold. One of the three captains on Rockport. And the pass is, gets by Dakota Langevin. And dumped into the Swanscott zone played by Buffard. And now taken away by Rockport as Will Roddy getting his first ice time tonight. Chased down the puck with Derek Fea. And now Rockport has it in their corner. Now open in the slot back to the point. Bank pass off the wall and a tip shot goes just wide. And now Rockport fires it into the slot and Roddy will chase it down off the missed pass. Kept it nicely though at the left point by Rockport. And now Roddy gets, gets it out of the zone. Now the puck is offside. And Swamp Scott collects. Zach Ryan trying to get it up to Roddy. And Roddy gets possession, trying to get something towards the middle. Now Derek Fayette chases it down to the opposite corner. And Landrevan keeps it in. Fayette's trying to slap it to Roddy. None, nothing doing there. Landrevan keeps it in and gives the puck right to Rockport as Arnold, Aiden Arnold has the puck. And now the second line will go off for a change. And now the third line comes on the ice as Rockport has it on the right wing. Shot right into the chest of Buffard as he collects his first save of the game. Swan's got doing a better job of getting it out of the zone early as we didn't see much of that last, last week on Wednesday. Your thoughts, Ben? Uh, yeah, already starting to see better passing from Swamp Scott. And they're already starting to get the puck into the zone. As now an offensive zone faceoff for Rockport. They win it back, but too far out of the zone as Frankie Popolardo tries to chase it down. As Michael Diorio has it for Rockport and gets it up the boards to Jake Moulton. Moulton tries to hit the long indirect pass taken away by Quinn Hitchcock. And now Frankie Popolardo has it behind the net. Tries the center in front and nothing doing there. That was intended for Jackson Bartram. And now Jake Moulton takes it up the left side, makes a nice move to get around Bartram. Now takes it in the attacking zone and dumps it in behind Buffard. And a bank pass along the boards gets to Bartram. And now a shot from the point is tipped by, I believe, a Swampscott defender and by Buffard. And Rockport takes the early 1-0 lead. Again, some tough luck for Buffard as that was tipped in, I believe, by his own man. Yeah, that was a rough goal for Swampscott. They got it up to the top. And they got a little tip into the net. I believe it was an own goal. Uh, Aiden Fitzpatrick, I believe, tipped it in. So Swampscott looks to regroup. Actually, that was TJ Mc Yeah, it was Aiden Fitzpatrick. And they dump into the zone, chased down by Fitzpatrick, who wins the race to the puck, looking to get it up to Pierce. Can't, can't do so, and now Sprague collects. Sprague looking for an outlet pass, gets knocked down and kept in by Rockport. And now Pierce collects on the left wing. Sprague trying to tip it to his stick, cannot, and now dip, dumped in to the Swamp Squad zone behind Buffard as Quinn Hitchcock collects. Pass up the wing to Max Gadden, who fires it across for Zach Pierce, trying to gain control and throws it behind the, the Rockport goaltender, trying to keep it in his Sprague, and he cannot. As Zach Ryan finds Pierce, and now he dumps it in. Gadden on the chase. Looking to get to it in the front of the net, and that's a big hit. Nothing called as Gadden went hard into the boards, and TJ McCarthy keeps it in the zone, tips it in front, looking for Gadden. Still loose in the slot. Gadden falls down, and now Rockport has a two-on-two -two rush, 
and on the left wing and a shot looking for a pass in front just goes by the stick of Michael Murphy. Now Pierce tips it looking for Faya as Will Roddy gets back into the game and Faya gets knocked down and Zacharon collects behind Buffard. He loses control of the puck, kept in by Rockport, but instantly taken away by Faya. Now they call the play offsides. So a little bit sloppy passing after a decent start for the Big Blue after the goal. As Derek Faya will take the draw against Giovanni Recupero. Quinn Hitchcock in his own corner, looking for a pass along the board, so Roddy can't find one. And the puck is loose in the slot, tipped back to the point, and a shot attempt from the point is knocked down by Ben Tolosa. Now, a shot from the point is tipped wide. That shot was attempted by Giovanni Recupero, one of the three captains as well on this Rockford team. Rockford keeps possession in the zone as Fea, deep in his own quarter, fighting for it with Hitchcock. And a jam in the corner as they jam at the puck, and Recupero comes out with it. And now they get it to the right point. Shot attempt blocked down by Langevin. Instantly loses his stick, picks it up. Now a shot from the point just goes wide, loose in front, and the shot just above the net of Buffard. He might have gotten a piece of it. Hitchcock gets it up the board to Landrevain as, as Swamp Scott looks to clear. He banks the pass, and Rockford keeps it in deep in their own zone, and they will set up their offense again. So Swamp Scott having a tough time getting it out of their defensive zone. Does nicely Derek Faya to Will Roddy up the right wing. He self-passes to himself, trying to get it in the corner. Looks in front, looking for Landrevain. He gets the nice move up the middle, looks to get a shot, takes it, and it goes just wide to the right. About six minutes in as Rockport chips it up the right glass and gets by the Aiden Fitzpatrick and Zach Ryan chases it down as Rockport just pushes one into Buffard who sticks it to the right corner. Now a puck battle on the outside and Frank Popolardo came out of it with a second. Now in the slot is Rockport. Good denial by uh, Aiden Fitzpatrick on Colby Doan. And now Rockport gets it back up to the point, dumps it into the corner as Fitzpatrick retrieves. His clearing attempt is kept in at the point, and Fitzpatrick has it in his corner trying to clear the zone. Hit attempt by, by Greg Bautenkoff, and now they clear the zone. As it is dumped in behind the Rockport goaltender, Greg Bautenkoff in on the chase as Hurley he sets up in front. Rockport gets possession and gets it up the left wing, trying to clear the zone. Rockport just has a much easier time than Swamp Scott getting it out of the zone in the early goings here, as there's a flip shot on Buffard. And Rockport's wing fell down. Now a shot from the point by Recupero is handled by Buffard. Actually, the shot was by Ben DeFleury. So Swamp Scott getting an early push from Rockport here. Let's see if they can respond. What are your thoughts on the game so far, Ben? Yeah, I think Swamp's got really needs to decrease uh, Rockport's time in the offensive zone and uh, start to get some shots on net and try to get some numbers on the board for them. Now Aiden Sprague will take the draw, and he wins it back off the referee and now back to the point for Rockport as Quinn Hitchcock tries to retrieve and gets it to Gadden, tips it to Sprague, and they have a two-on-one rush. Sprague and Pierce, they stay on side. Sprague with the shot, saved by Crompton. So Swanscott finally gets their first chance as Sprague and Sprague and Pierce run the two on one, finally getting some play after the tip pass from Gaddon. Yeah, that was a good rush by Swanscott. We need to see that more. And uh, one of these times, they'll nail one in the net. Yeah, just getting pucks on net. Eventually, they're going to go down. Now Sprague fighting for the puck in Rockport will clear as, as Murphy takes it up the right wing, passes it up to Pratt, and he takes a shot from the right wing, saved by Buffard into the chest of the big blue goalie. So right back comes Rockport, and they will get an offensive zone faceoff. And now the second line comes on the ice as Derek Fayer will take the faceoff versus Dougie Pratt. Now the, sh the fire into the slot, still loose in front, shot just wide by Br Quinn Brady. And now Faya fighting for the puck along the right wing. 
And now a pass into the slot is taken away by TJ McCarthy, and Roddy finds the puck in his skates and gets it to Langervain. Langervain self-passes to himself on the boards, gets a shot just wide. Good move by Langervain to get that shot. Great play. Just missing the net wide. Now a battle along the puck, but along the boards for the puck as Fea collects it off the catch, and now Langervain has it on the left wing, gets it in front for Fea, who gets his stick lifted on the shot attempt, and but Tolosa cannot keep it in. Tolosa retrieves the puck in his own zone, trying to find an outlet pass. Roddy cannot control the puck, and now Langervain looks for a change, and Greg Bautenkopf comes on the ice as Rockport gets a shot from the point blocker, saved by Buffard. Long rebound comes out to Rockport, as now a good stick work by Tolosa there, trying to get it clear, cannot get it to his defenseman, and Zach Ryan collects in the corner. Ryan now takes it up himself, makes a nice move on the outside, trying to find Roddy, and it goes all the way in on net against Crompton, and he will take a defensive zone faceoff. So, seen some good things on the offensive side, as we did not see much against Be Beverly, as Landrevain made a nice self-pass and got himself a chance. Yeah, Swamp Scott's finally starting to get some shots in on net. After a little bit of a slow start, Landrevain yeah. got that one just wide to the stick side of Crompton. And Papalardo loses the draw, but uh, and Rockport clears. And now they have a three-on-two rush. Now a two-on-one as they mishandle the puck, but a shot from the wing goes wide. Bounces back to the point as they slap it back on net. Still loose in front. Gets banging around bodies off of Buffard. Still loose. And Rockport scores to make the game two to nothing. Unlucky bounces there for the Big Blue as it just kept coming in the front of the net, and uh, Rockport was able to tip it in. So Swamp's got, again, just trying to get some sort of traction on this zone time battle as Rockport is dominating this first period so far, about 10 minutes in, up to nothing. And now Hitchcock retrieves the puck in his own zone, fires it up the boards, cannot find Sprague, and now Pierce chasing it in a puck battle, gets it to Fitzpatrick. And now it's fired across the slot, nobody home, and now Hitchcock retrieves the puck behind his own net and fans on the pass a little bit, does not get all the way to Gaddon. Now Rockport has it back up to the point, shot attempt is blocked down, and now a pass in front gets knocked around in a shot. Nice save by Buffard, still loose in the slot, tipped away by uh, Fitzpatrick, and now the shot is blocked, and H Hitchcock looking for position against the two Rockport off forwards. He wins the puck battle and will clear the zone as he has Pierce to his left, Sprague to his right. He takes it up himself, and I believe they call Gaddon offsides on the right wing. So, but what do you think Swamp Scott has to do to get back into this one after the we, slow start? We just need Swamp Scott to get the puck into the offensive zone. Uh, we can see Rockport, they're just dominating on offense right now, and uh, hopefully they can change that around. I know we sound like a little bit of a broken record, but it's really just the key as they've lost two straight, they lost Beverly because they uh, allowed 43 shots on goal yep. and only got nine themselves, and that's how it's starting off today against Rockport. Can't expect your goalie to make 38 saves every single night, so you got to get some offensive production as Rockport takes it back into their zone. McCarthy now trying to win the puck battle, and Rockport gets it. Faya battling on the wing gets it to Langervain who reverses the ice and looking for Roddy on the breakout pass. Nothing doing there. Rockport gets out of the zone. Roddy in pursuit. And now McCarthy gets his stick lifted and a nice move in the slot by Jake Moulton, and there's a save by Buffard, and Roddy collects the loose puck. Roddy in pursuit as Crompton plays it. And a little floating pass into the um, neutral zone is taken away by Tolosa. And Hitchcock gets it up the wing to Frank Papalardo, who takes it right up the middle. Now on the left side, looks for a shot angle. Passes it in front off the blocker, off the pad of Crompton. And now Hitchcock collects on the left point. He makes a move to the middle, looks for a shot, and it's sticked away by Moulton. 
Now the puck bounces in front. Papalardo collects it, but it gets knocked away. And he gets it behind the Rockport netminder. A fan on the pass as Hurley he looks for Hitchcock on the point who keeps it in. Looking for a shot angle. Slap shot in the middle. Tipped just wide by, I believe it was, yeah, it was. It was um, Jackson Bartram. Now Rockport has a little bit of a two-on-two -two rush and a cross-quarter dump. And Hitchcock collects up the wing, finding Bartram. Bartram gets it back to his defenseman, Tolosa. Now Tolosa battling along the boards. Ball, the puck bounces on the boards. And now back behind Buffard goes the puck. And now a pass into the slot. And a shot attempt from the right wing, gloved away by Buffard. Nice save there by the netminder. That was Quinn Brady on a shot attempt. And Spray, the first line back out there. Spray loses the draw. Now shot from the point, blocked away by Pierce. And McCarthy retrieves it in his corner, dumps it, looking for Gadden. He finds a Gadden looks for the cross ice pass to Pierce, who collects it on the left side. And the shot from the right wing, gloved away by Crompton. Good glove save there. You have 152 remaining in the first period. Swamps got down two to nothing. And now Sprague and with the offense's own faceoff. He loses that one. Pierce now trying to fight for it. Sprague knocks it down and it keeps it in the zone. And now Rockport has possession. Gaddon in pursuit on the right side. Zach Ryan collects and fires across the corner as Pierce, is ch Pierce chases. And that's going to go for icing. And Swanscott will get an offense's own faceoff. So we're seeing more offensive zone face up. Offensive zone time for Swanscott getting some pucks on net, just not enough to sustain some um, persistent attacks. Sprague gets tied up on the draw. The puck is loose in front. Pierce cannot handle it. Now it bounces in front. And now will be cleared away, taken by Aiden Arnold, who tries to get across ice and now stolen away by Rockport on the kind of a lazy pass by the big blue. Ryan does a nice job containing the outside and thrown and Buffard gets a whistle. Zach Ryan did a good job containing Jack Guelli on the on the rush there. And now Fail loses the draw in the defensive zone and the puck bounces off the backboards, comes all the way in front and Hitchcock retrieves it. Less than a minute in the period as Roddy takes it up the right side, fires in front looking for Hitchcock off of a skate who, and Hitchcock throws it in front. Roddy gets a chance just wide and it goes out of play. Roddy Roof that one over the net. As, uh, Hitchcock's done a nice job in this first period getting out of the uh, defensive zone and getting some chances for the big blue. Yeah, during these final two minutes, we can finally see Swamp Scott starting to dominate this offensive. Uh, now they just got to sustain and get more pucks on net as Faya takes the offensive zone faceoff. He wins it to Langevin, who tips it looking for Roddy, who gets it back to the point and knocked away by Rockport. Now a two-on-one Hitchcock, and now Fitzpatrick gets back in the play. The shot, good block, blocked by Hitchcock. And now a puck fired in front. Nobody home for Rockport as Roddy blocks down the pass, trying to escape the defensive zone, and Rockport's able to t tip it back behind Buffard. Fitzpatrick fans on the shot looking for his defenseman, mate, and he passes it right to Roddy. And it has Langevin on his left, getting pursued by two defenders. 20 seconds left to go in the period as Rockport collects behind their goalie. And the final rush of the period will be taken away by, I believe that is... Jackson Bartram, yes it is, and he tries to get to the defenseman, nobody home, and that will take us to the end of the first period. Rockport dominated in that first period, winning two to nothing after one, but Swampscott did have some um, 
some signs of life there at the end of the period. What are your thoughts on that first period, Ben? Yeah, even though uh, Rockport's up 2-0, I think uh, Swamp Scott has progressed a lot from last game. We can see a lot of more offensive time and shots on net, and I think if they keep this up throughout the game, they'll turn it around, and this will be a close one. Yeah, they can definitely come back two goals. It's nothing, uh, especially in high school hockey. Um, yeah. Buffard did a nice job besides that, I believe, that second goal. Um, not exactly sure what happened on that, but Swamp Scott just needs to keep getting shots on net and hope some of them get by Crompton. Welcome back into the O'Keefe Center as Swamp Scott trails Rockport two to nothing after the opening period and they will look to cut into this lead before the third. Um, so Rockport dominated the early portions of that period, getting two quick ones. And then at the end, Swamp Scott showed some good signs as they got some shots on goal and some attacking zone time. Yeah, we see our goalie, Jason Mufard, doing a pretty solid job right now. We just need his defense to help out, and we'll see how they improve throughout the game. I think if Swamp Scott can win the offensive zone time battle in this period and it's just crucial for them to get some more shots because Crompton's only been tested a few times. As we are just about set to resume the game. as the first line will start the second period just as they did the first. Spray, Gaddon, and Pierce along with Hitchcock and McCarthy. Rockport wins the draw, but Hitchcock recovers for the Big Blue, and Gaddon loses the puck, but Hitchcock gets it to his D-man, who fans on the pass along the boards, and now Rockport has a shot saved by Buffard. So a very early miscue in this second period as McCarthy fanned on the pass, and Rockport almost took advantage. And now off the faceoff, uh, Fitzpatrick collects in the corner. Now Hitchcock, he fans on a pass, and the pass through the slot tipped by a Swamp Scott defender. Now Gaddon is in pursuit of Andrew Amigo. And now Sprague has the puck and momentarily and lost it. Now uh, Brady Quinn Brady has a chance to bring it into the zone, but he dumps it behind Buffard, and Hitchcock does a nice job stealing the edge, and now will we'll take it out. Hitchcock cross ice for Gaddon, who takes it up the right wing. Looking across, nobody home as his line mates were looking for a change, and now he goes off, and Faya and Landrevain come in, and Faya gets a quick steal. Fires it in front for Landrevain, and he can't get a shot off. And now Rockford has a three-on-three -three rush, and they lose the puck and dump it back in cross corner. Great chance for the Big Blue as uh, Landrevain could not get a shot off after the nice play by Fail on the puck. Roddy cannot clear the zone. or that, Yeah, it's Roddy that can't clear the zone, and Fail does, but it's collected nicely by uh, Mike Nocella of Rockport. And now it goes into the cross corner of their own zone, and now Roddy fighting for position. Can't get the puck, and it's fired off back glass and taken by Rockport, who gets, who gets it up the boards. And we'll recollect it is Mike Nocella who gets it up to Jack Gwelly. And Tolosa dumps it in, taken by Rockport, pass behind Gwelly. But uh, Zach Ryan, I believe, clears. And he gets the puck back and fans on the shot for Tolosa, who just barely can get it out of the zone. And now Landrevain in pursuit after the little bit of a misplay by Rockport now they will go off for a change. Roddy's still out there with the third line and now will go for the change himself. Tolosa mishandles the puck, now a shot from the slot uh, off the pad of Buffard. Still in the early minutes of the second period, still two nothing. As that goes off of Roddy's skate as he is yet to get off the ice, he's out there with the third line with Hurley. And the puck at loose in front and Roddy will clear it and probably dump it in and go for the change himself. Or he's actually gonna go for the rush Last game for him probably on the 
ice, and now he will go for a change as he dumps it into the corner. Jackson Bartram now on the ice, and Hitchcock collects the misfired pass from Rockport. He runs over a man, and now Bartram has a shot from the wing, tipped off of Crompton's stick, and he covers up for a faceoff. So third line now on for their first shift to the second period. It is Bartram, Hurley, and Papalardo. Hurley, he loses the draw. And now Rockport will look to rush, and Hitchcock has it and dumps it back into the zone. Swamps Bartram tags up and now takes the puck away. He's on the right side, takes a shot, saved by Crompton. That puck bounces back to Papalardo, who loses the handle, and Rockport will look to clear, and they will as, um, as uh, they get skated around and trying to get it into the zone. That is Hayden, Hayden Brady playing alongside his brother. And now Rockport trying to clear the zone. They do. They're in the neutral zone now. And now they have a two-on-two -two rush taken away nicely by Swampscott. Her, um, Pierce loses his stick. And McCarthy or Hitchcock will take the puck and look up the boards looking for Bartram and gets it to him. And he looks cross ice to Pierce, gets it to him, who looks for Sprague off the skate of a Rockport forward. And McCarthy takes the puck and dumps it in. And it's going to be offsides. Swamp's got his day, had a man in the zone as McCarthy entered. And the first line back out there is Sprague will look to take the face off just outside the Rockport zone. Andrew Amigo chasing down the puck in the corner will reverse his side and now take it up the middle it gets hit Sprague has control looking in front for Gat and a nice goal oh. there who is that that is I believe Zach Pierce who puts it in out on the between the legs pass for Aiden Sprague great feed in front and Swampscott gets on the board it is two to one Rockport night really nice pass there from Sprague yeah, great overall goal Swampscott was able to get the puck down low and uh Pierce got it in his first of the season as the senior gets on the board Really nice play by Sprague to keep it in and make the between the legs, uh, the pass between the legs of a Rockport defender and Pierce puts it in the back of the net. So it's two to one early in the first, second period, about five minutes in as Swanscott turns it over and Rockport has a chance to rush. Nice move made on the outside, but uh, Fitzpatrick clears it to the back glass and Gaddon looking across ice, finding Pierce who just scored the goal, takes it up one on two, pass it back for Sprague, the shot out saved by Crompton. And now Gadden fires in front. It's still loose and a really nice save by Crompton to cover that one. So now the first line flying for the, bo yeah. for the boys. Now our first line's starting to cook up. Swamp Scott's getting the puck down low. We touched about that in the intro. Uh, the first line had to set the tone, and they did with a goal on that shift and multiple chances to tie this one up. Now the second line looking to feed off that energy. Fail loses the offensive zone draw, and now Rockport clears the zone as, as Diorio speeds through the zone and ices the puck as Fitzpatrick wins the race to the puck. So Swampscott will get another chance in the offensive zone, trying to tie this one up as they have definitely won this second period so far. Now Faya ties up the draw, looking for Roddy to come in and get it cleared away by Rockport. And now they will rush it up the left side as they clear the zone. McCarthy playing defense and a good hold off by Landrevain, who gets it to Hitchcock. Hitchcock speeds up the right side, looking for room. And now takes it in the zone himself, looking for an angle. Throws it, looking to throw it in front. Nobody is there. Landrevain collects and now tipped away by Rockport and they will have a rush. Good holding by McCarthy to avoid the rush by Rockport. Now Fair trying to keep it in. I believe it would have been offsides. No, they call it clean. So Fair has it and he turns it over in the neutral zone. That's got, that looks like an interference, nothing called. Buffard steers it away to the corner. And now a, fire, a diving attempt to fire it in front and off the post, not in. Buffard will thank his the goalie's best friend after that one. 
and McCarthy chases it, looking to get it out of the zone. Nice play there by Landrevan. He can't clear, though, and it comes back to the point, tipped away by the stick of Will Roddy, and now Roddy has it on the rush, looking to go on the right side, one on three, looking for help, and he takes a shot. Oh, well, nice shot there off of Crompton's blocker. Now Fayette pursues the puck. Frank Papalardo just on the ice, keeps it in, and will fire it into Crompton's glove, and we get a whistle as there's a Swamp Scott player down on the ice. And Swanscott will have an offensive zone faceoff. Hurley, he will take it with Bartram to his right and Papalardo to his left. And Hurley, he ties up the faceoff and Rockport clears it away. Now rush up the ice by Theo Perianos and he takes it. And Bartram clears it away but turns it over in the neutral zone and Rockport will look to rush it ahead. And they shot all the way on Buffard. He gets it covered, and Swanscott will have a defensive zone faceoff. But very good start to the second period as Swanscott has dominated zone time and got it on the board. Yeah, now we're starting to see a break that Buffard's getting because uh, Swanscott's starting to put the puck in the offensive zone. And they just need one more. Just getting persistent rushes for the first time this season as that pass is taken, almost taken away by Papalardo. And now he's still fighting for it on the right side. Good work by Papalardo. Bartram has it going to the middle, looking for a shot, and it's blocked down. Hurley with a nice hit. Toloso able to keep it in the zone. And now Rockport recovers on the side. Up, pass up the boards, off the skate. And Swanscott will have to tag up before entering the offensive zone as Bartram will look to change after he... Let's his line mates change, and now a race for the puck as Buffard is going to have to play that. No, he won't, and it will go for icing. So Swanscott will get another chance in their offensive zone to try to knot this one up with 7.52 to go in the second period. Sprague loses the offensive zone draw, but Gaddon in pursuit of the puck trying to win the battle with the defenseman. As Fitzpatrick pinches down to try to keep it in the zone, and they do keep it in the zone as a slap shot from the point off the stick of Crompton, attempted by Aiden Sprague. Gaddon lost his stick, so he kicks it into the offensive zone. Sprague trying to get an angle for a shot, cannot. Gaddon got his stick back and now trying to retrieve the puck in the right wing. Rockport trying to clear as Gaddon still pursuing the puck, keeping it in and controlled by Rockport. Gwelly loses the handle of the puck and he goes all the way to the point to Hitchcock. And now a wraparound attempt by Gaddon, nothing doing there as it comes all the way back to Hitchcock who fires a wrist shot blocked down by Rockport. And a turnover in the neutral zone by Fitzpatrick and now Hitchcock pinch is trying to get a rush now, a two on one rush, oh! Just missing the stick of the forward was the, was the pass. And now a diving effort by Pierce to try to gain control of the puck. He gets by one and will try to look at, to rush it up the ref side. And he gets cross-checked. That's going to be a penalty. And Swamp Scott will have their first power play of the game. I love this first line being uh, led by their seniors. Um, they're starting to cook up in the net. So Swanscott will go to the power play after the cross check on Pierce while he had a, tried to go for a rush. So uh, on this power play, you looked for Swanscott to not only tie it up, but just at least get some opportunities as their power play looked a little bit rough on Wednesday against Beverly. This is the first penalty of the game. Pretty clean game going before that cross check into the boards. And Derek Fayo will take the face off as the second line starts the power play. Rockport wins the draw and gets a quick clear 200 feet down the ice. And Hitchcock will retrieve it and start the rush. The pass wide for Faya, And Faya loses an edge and falls down the puck offsides. And Rockport clears. Hitchcock gets it across to his teammate, Aiden Fitzpatrick, who gets it to Derek Fayo, who gets into the zone, looking to set up the Swamp Scott offense. Now Fayo has some space, goes down low for Landrevane to Fayo, back to Landrevane, gets it to the point to Hitchcock, back to Fayo, 
back to Hitchcock as they play catch. Back to Fayette, looking for an angle, gets it to Landrevain down low. Landrevain gets it to Fayette in the slot just wide. Puck bounces on him, keeps it alive, and looks for Roddy in front of the net. Can't find him, and it goes out of play. And it will be a faceoff right outside the Swamp's got his own. Five thirty-eight to go in the second period as the second line stays out there with one minute remaining on the power play. And Rockport looks for the quick clear off the faceoff, kept in momentarily by Fitzpatrick, and now they cleared away past Hitchcock and off end boards and Hitchcock retrieves. Now Hitchcock will take it up the ice himself, looking to make a play. Gets it deep into the zone, and Rockport will look to clear. Roddy in pursuit, and they get a backhand clear all the way down the ice, and Fitzpatrick will retrieve it. About 30 seconds left to go on the Swampscott power play. Down 2-1. to one. Or Actually, it was Frank Papalardo out there with Hitchcock on the defense on the power play unit. Fayette dumps it down low for... Dakota Landrevain, who gets it to the point to Popolardo back to Landrevain, who looks to make a move patiently with 10 seconds to go on the power play. Fayette fires it in front, just away from Landrevain, and now Rockport will look to kill the rest of this power play off, and they will carry him off the boards. Almost goes all the way on, on Buffard, and Hitchcock will look to get a rush up the ice. Now at even strength, as Sprague has some room on the right side, rushes up, goes for the shot, steered away by... Crompton and now Zach Ryan tries to keep it in the zone and Rockport will fire it down all the way in on Buffard so no icing there as McCarthy tries to retrieve it and gets it up the ice to Gaddon. Swampscott has dominated the offensive zone time in the second period looking to get this game knotted up two at two. Now Rockport will settle things down at their own blue line. Now into the neutral zone as the puck bounces to the middle of the ice. Gaddon knocks it away momentarily, but now here comes Rockport up the left side, and a shot attempt is off Buffard's chest, still loose. Rebound given up by Buffard, but not, no blood drawn. As Gaddon flips it up the ice into the neutral zone, clearing the zone, and now Rockport dumps it in deep. Three minutes, 30 seconds to go in the second period. McCarthy turns it over right in front, and a goal by Hayden Brady, a costly turnover, and Brady just came flying up the slot and scored a goal. Yeah, a real sw sloppy play from Swampska right there. Uh, they can't let that happen this late into the game. Nothing Buffard could do after the turnover, just no time to react, and he put his hands in the air signaling that, and now it's 3-1 to one Rockport. So the goal by Swampska is now evened out in the second period. As now it's back to a two-goal game with three minutes left to go in this first period. As Bartram dumps it in deep, looking for Hurley. Bartram, over Bartram's stick, Colosa shoots it. And it goes wide, looking for a tip by Papalardo. And now Rockport looking for extended rush. And Bartram, looking for a hit, falls down. Hitchcock in the, in the corner trying to fight for position. Rockport trying to get it back to the middle. Hurley he nicely tips it to Papalardo, who gets it to Hurley he up the middle who dumps it in into his own corner and will chase it himself. Rockport trying to get it up the boards past Bartram and they do and they clear. Tolosa fires it in and it will go for an icing. Two thirty-seven to go in the second period as Swampscott trails Rockport three to one here at the O'Keefe Center. Rockport wins the offensive zone faceoff and the shot still loose in front off the Buffard save popped in the air and just wide, and now taking it up the left side, dumping it in, looking for the pass in the slot as Faya now collects. 
and looking for Roddy, who had it momentarily and loses it. And now that will be offsides as Brady or Quinn Brady was still in the offensive zone as Murphy brought it across. Now, Fail loses the draw. Now, Aiden Fitzpatrick can collects in the corner but cannot clear the zone. And now dumped back in deep by Rockport. Fitzpatrick fanned on the pass and now dangerously in the slot. And Roddy collects, looking for Langevin up the left side, finds him. Langevin shoots off the stick of Crompton and will go all the way out of play. So Swanscott will have a faceoff in their offensive zone. Go to rush by Langevin there. Yeah, just like the first period, we're starting to see Rockport dominate in the offensive zone again. Uh, Swamp Scott needs to turn this around and start setting up some more plays in their zone. Maybe they can turn something around. Now Fay will take the draw. And Rockport looks to get it up the boards, and they do nicely. Three on two rush incoming as uh, Fitzpatrick gets turned around. Shot from the right, right wing, saved by Buffard, and he covers and with 138 to go, he will give up a defensive zone faceoff. Now Fay gets kicked out of the doll and Langervain will take the faceoff and he wins it back to Fitzpatrick and now Roddy gets it up the right wing tips it to Faya up the off the right side and he gets put into the boards get hit there by Rockport and Roddy dumps it in 120 to go in the period Faya looking at to the zone gets hit hard into the referee and loses his stick, and now he's still offside as Roddy. That's going to be an offside if Langervain touches it, and they will clear and tag up. One minute left in the second period. Rockport leads by two, and a nice move made in the outside, and a shot from the right wing is never made by Recupero, and now Swanscott looking to clear pass behind Ryan, and Rockport looking for a angle for the shot gets taken away behind the net. Slowly moving, and now pass into the slot is knocked down and taken by Zach Ryan. Kept in momentarily by Rockport on the diving effort. Now they steal it away. Good angle by Fitzpatrick as he takes it away. And now Rockport keeping it in the zone. 25 seconds to go in the period. And now a pass in the slot <laughs> taken away by Roddy. Sprague looks to clear, look, trying to find Roddy to get it out of the zone. They can't. Sticked away by Buffard, and Fitzpatrick slaps it along the ice, and that will do it for the second period. Swampscott trailing 3-1. to one. Definitely a better period played by Swampscott, but caught one costly turnover kept the Rockport lead at two. Yeah, during the beginning of the period, we saw Swampscott being a lot better. Uh, their first line being led by uh, Max Scott and Zach Pierce. Um, but towards the end, they uh, kind of fell apart, and Rockport started to catch on like they did in the first period. Yeah, so the Swampscott goal was scored by Zach Pierce off the pass from Aiden Sprague, and the Rockport goal that equalized the period was scored by Hayden Brady, and the score stays 3-1 to one after 2. Welcome back into the O'Keefe Center as Swampscott trails Rockport 3-1. to one. Had some positive signs in that uh, second period, but could not make the deficit any smaller. Yeah, now in the third period, Swamp Scott hasn't done too much. We need to see them make noise for them to make a difference in this they just game. Need, they need to fly around, make the easy pass, just get consistent zone time, and just get pucks on net, yeah. and just get some in the net. Yeah, our goalie, Jason Buffard, he's just out there controlling what he can control. He's keeping them in the game for sure. The one silly turnover in the second period gave Rockport their third goal as the pass, errant pass went right in front and a quick shot 
gave them the three to one lead. And we are ready for puck drop here in the third period as the first line of Pierce, Sprague, and Gaddon take the ice against Rockport's first line. Sprague loses the opening draw of the third period, and we are underway 15 minutes ago as Pierce bangs into a body. And now Sprague makes a nice play to get it into the zone but cannot get around the Rockport defender to keep it in. McCarthy handles the puck and fires it looking for Pierce. And nothing doing there. And Rockport looking for a rush. And no, nothing called. Looked to be a lot of contact with the sticks. Now Gaddon looking. And now Buffard tips it to Hitchcock. And looking for Pierce just a little bit wide for him. Puck is found by Hitchcock. And he takes it up the middle. Looking for some quick offense here. And he gets swallowed up by two Rockport defenders. And they take it up the boards. Uh, Landervain try to keep it in but cannot now it's a, a quick rush for a nice tip away by McCarthy thrown in front and Hitchcock clears it away and I believe that's going to go for icing as Hitchcock cannot connect with Landervain and the faceoff will come all the way into the Swanscott defensive zone Now the second line comes on as Fea takes the draw. He wins it back to Tolosa. Now he will carry it up the middle looking for on the wing to Ferrati. Cannot connect, but it bounces to Langervain who can't control it off of his skate and connected by Rockport. Now a tape to tape pass, brings it up the left side. Shot is knocked down and went into the right corner where Rockport collects, and Landervain trying to clear, cannot. Now a pass stays on the blue line, so it stays in the zone. It's not going to be an offsides. I believe actually, actually it will be an offside, so nobody touched it for Rockport. Langervain clears momentarily, but the puck gets knocked away on the hip check. Now Zach Ryan <laughs> collects it and will go for icing. Less than two minutes into the third period, Swan Scott still trails by two. Looking for some sustainable zone time to try to get back in this one. Yeah, we need our Swan Scott defense to start uh, locking in here and getting the puck out of the zone. Now the third line of Hurley, he, Bartram, and Popolardo come back on. Hurley, he loses the faceoff, and now puck comes back to the point. Ryan keeps it and dumps it behind the net as Bartram tries to retrieve, gets by him. And Rockport will try to clear, and now back deep as Popolardo trying to retrieve it. He does knocks it in front, still loose. Hurley, he collects, tries to get back to the point, back to Ryan. He does. Ryan looks for a passing lane, can't find one, gets knocked down in front, and Rockport clears it away. Jake Bolton gets knocked down in the middle of the ice. Jackson Bartram with a nice hit. And... Rockport still with possession. Tolosa has it at center ice and fires it back into the zone as Popolardo chases. Tries to knock down the pass, falls down, and still f digging for position. Ryan keeps it in nicely at the point, and Rockport looking to clear, cannot. Tolosa has it at the point, dumps it cross corner, where only a Rockport defender gets to the puck. 
Ryan now at center ice. Fires it all the way in on Crompton, who sticks it aside and will bring it to his defense mate. And that's not going to be an icing as Ryan did deflect the puck past center ice. Looking for a breakout pass to Pierce, who tips it deep into the Swampscott zone. And a fan on the pass taken away by Sprague, looking for some offense in the corner. Still battling for it with two Rockport defenders, and now he gets it taken away, but Gaddon has it in the middle of the ice. He shoots, just and a glove save by Crumpton. So good rush here by the, the first line as they have all, all game long as they've had a nice game for this big blue team. Sprague wins the draw and tips it back to Hitchcock at the point. Who looks for a shooting lane, gets blocked down instantly. And now Pierce fighting for it along the corner. McCarthy cannot keep it in, and now he's battling for position. And Hitchcock in a race for the puck. Buffard tips it to him, and McCarthy collects in his corner. Pierce tips it instantly to Sprague. It bounces over his stick and almost costly turnover there for the Big Blues. It went into the slot and was collected by Rockport. Hitchcock now gets it up the wing to Gaddon, who fires it up looking up the boards, looking for Pierce, who makes a nice move around one defender and gets shut down on the second, and the puck comes out of the zone. Now Pierce shovels it for Hitchcock, who dumps it in across the boards. Will Roddy in pursuit off the bench. Ten thirty to go in this one. Swampscott still trails by two. And now Langevin tips it in front, looking for Roddy, who tips it to the point. Hitchcock's shot is blatted down by Crompton. Still loose, though. And now Langevin can't keep it in. Now a rush for Rockport up the left side. This is Br Hayden, Hayden Britton, who scored a goal earlier. And now the shot is wide. Faya in pursuit. And Hitchcock collects. Has been on the ice for a while. As he, he's had the most ice time, for sure, for the Big Blue. And now Landrevain tips it ahead, now in a race for the puck, trying to get it in, and he does. He fires it for looking for Roddy, and he can't tip it home. And Ryan collects at the red line. And a big hit in the middle of the ice by Roddy, and that's going to be offsides as Faya carried over after the hit. Roddy, Roddy went into the offensive zone. So 9.38 to go. Swamps got down by two. Yeah, we could finally see the Swamp Scout offense starting to get to work. Um. Now, Bartram in pursuit up the right boards of the puck. Battles nicely in finding. And Baljinkoff back on the ice after the injury scare, and it hops over Zach Ryan's stick, and he can't keep it in, and Swampscott will have to tag up. Currently, he not on the ice for this, for this third line as Baljinkoff joins Popolardo and Bartram. And a nice play by Aiden Fitzpatrick trying to clear the zone. Baljinkoff, and he's looking up the middle of the ice and dumps it in and will try to chase it with Popolardo, tagged away by Crompton. And a misfire on the pass taken away momentarily by Papalardo, but Rockport gets it up the zone. And all the way down into their own corner as they win the race of the puck. And Zach Ryan trying to fight for position. As they get it to the slot. One timer off the stick of Buffard and in. And Swampscott now trails by three. Buffard wants that one back as that shot did not have much velocity. Goes off the stick of Buffard and in. And now Swamp's got trails by three with just 8.30 to go. Now the faceoff after the Rockport goal. McCarthy chases it down off the wind by Sprague. And Pierce loses the puck and Rockport keeps it in the zone and dumps it down deep. McCarthy in a race for the puck. Fighting for position does a good job holding off the Rockport offense. 
And a big hit. That looks like an elbow, and it will be an elbow, I believe. On Pierce. No, I think they just whistled it dead because his helmet came off. And the faceoff will come into the Rockport zone. Looks like an elbow. The referee could not see it, so no penalty call. It will just be a stoppage. And Sprague wins the faceoff back to McCarthy, who is looking for a pass up the wing, gets tipped away, but Hurley he takes it up the left side and dumps it in, looking to spring some offense. Now Hurley he wins the battle for the puck, trying to get in the middle of the ice, cannot. And Sprague tips it to Hitchcock, takes it up the left side, looks for a shot off the stick of Crompton and into his chest and we will get a stoppage. So Swamp's got trailing by three in desperation mode now. Yeah, we need Swamp's got to start working the puck down low. As we can see from their only goal, that's what seems to be working for them, and they can't uh, produce that right now. Pretty much need to be perfect and need to get some, maybe some puck luck to get the puck by Crompton, who has had a solid game in the limited shots he's seen. And Fay wins it back to Landervan, who gets a little soft shot, and Crompton covers once again. And a clearing attempt gets stopped by Zach Ryan at the blue line. And now Rockport looks to clear, gets it in the middle of the ice, and now will look for some offense of their own as uh, they speed up the left side now down the middle. Landrevin trying to get back into the play. Shot goes wide, and Hitchcock retrieves it. Roddy now on the right wing, looking for Landrevin, finds him. Now Landrevin takes it up the middle, finds Fail on the left side, gets around one defender. And fight forward along the boards, and now it clears out of the Swamp Scout zone back to Ryan. Landry Vane misses Hitchcock on the back pass, and Rockport shot attempt blocked down by Hitchcock. Now Roddy has some space to work up the left side. He dumps drop back pass to Landry Vane, and it gets blocked down. Now Landry Vane trying to tip it in front. Loose puck still in front, and Faye gets knocked down. And the goalie stick goes away, and it will be a stoppage of play. As Crompton, I believe, covered. Yeah, starting to see a lot of sloppiness from Swamp Scott here. They really got to do something special here. They got to bear down six minutes for three goals. It's going to be almost an impossible comeback, but it's definitely improbable, not impossible. Now Hurley, he takes the offensive zone face off. And he loses it back. And Papalardo fighting for position on the boards, trying to get it to Bartram, who tips it back into the zone for Papalardo, who gets it to Bartram. The shot is glove saved by Crompton and covered up. Swap's got getting some shots on net to no avail. Hurley, he battles for the faceoff as it goes behind the Rockport netminder. As now they look for some offense of their own up the left side, and they dump in as Fitzpatrick chases for it. As the pass in front gets tipped away, and they collect at the right wing. Bad pass goes to Bartram, and now a two on rush. Bartram and Papalardo, and Bartram gets the puck. Tipped away and no shot attempt on the two and one, but Frank Popolardo tips it back in the zone. Nice play by the Rockport defenseman there. As Fitzpatrick trying to keep it in, cannot Sprague quickly off the bench. Now a two on one the other way as, as they take it up the left side and cannot get a shot off, cut off nicely by TJ McCarthy. And Buffard covers, and it's four, still four to one with 5.37 to go. If this score holds up, Swamscott will fall to 0-2 with two disappointing losses at home 
and Rockport will improve to one and two, but there's still 5.30 on the clock. We'll see what happens. And Gaddon now steals the faceoff, but cannot control it. And now Rockport has it in the zone. Flip pass in front, taken away by Hitchcock. Now Pierce chases as it goes off break stick right to Rockport as now they have a rush themselves up the left side and a shot is gloved away by Buffard. Shot made by, shot made by Mark Pollock. Stabbed by Buffard. Now Hitchcock taps it along the boards to Max Gaddon who tips it to Sprague looking for a breakout and they cannot get it. Now the pass from Rockport goes right on to Zach Pierce's stick and he tips it back for Sprague who whiffs on the one-timer and it will go back to Rockport as they come up the ice up and down action here at the Rock. Swanscott trails by three. Zach Ryan now fighting for position. Now Rockport has it behind the Swampscott net as they fall down. And Hitchcock still has it. Hitchcock has it speeding up the left side looking for something on offense here. As he gets it back to the point to Pierce who shoots still loose in front. Tipped and knocked down by Rockport. Now a two on two rush. Up the left side now vacating is one of the Rockport wings. And the shot goes wide all the way out to Hitchcock at the blue line. Faya gets it back to Tolosa, who backhands it up the left boards. And it goes right back to Rockport's stick, and it's loose in front, fighting for position across the crease, and no goal. So Faya now takes it up, looking for transition off of the missed shot by Rockport. Takes it up the right side, and Roddy was caught off sides. And off the draw, Aiden Fitzpatrick collects on the left point, or left defense position. And Rockport clears back to Tolosa. Tolosa blanked pass to Roddy, as now Landrevan and Roddy chase into the, into the offensive zone. And now the puck comes back to the point, and a quick slap shot attempt goes high, as Tolosa tips it in looking for Roddy, and a slap shot attempt fanned on, but Faya collects it, now shoots, and tipped away and wide. Look, Roddy looking for Langevin, back to fail, goes wide. And Rockport now looks to turn defense into offense. And a good hit by Derek Fea gets Swamp's got some ice space after the change. And uh, Fitzpatrick tips it back to Roddy, who gets hit and off the puck. And now a two on one chance gets knocked away by Tolosa. And Hurley he now on the ice gets it to Bartram on the right, or I mean Roddy on the right side, back to Hurley he, nothing doing there in the middle of the ice as Rockport shut it down nicely. Now up the right wing from the Vikings and they, Aiden Arnold gets it down low behind Buffard and a good hit by McCarthy is going to be actually called a penalty for a cross check. So with the final 234 coming up. Swan Scott will be on the power uh, power play kill until 30 seconds left, and that will pretty much do it. Four to one, Rockport. 2:30 left to go. This day will go on the man advantage. Frustrating game for the Big Blue once again. Saw some signs of improvement early in this one, but kind of fell apart. Well, Rockport got off to a quick start. Then we saw some signs of improvement by Swanscott in the second period. But since uh, Rockport has dominated this, dominated this third period in the defensive zone, not allowing Swampscott to get too many good chances. Yeah, towards the end, just really starting to see Swampscott fall apart here. Some of it could be frustration as the referee goes up to the Swampscott bench. And it is called a major penalty, so Swampscott will be on the penalty kill for the rest of this one. So down by three, two minutes, they're just going to wind down the clock. 
And a good pass across the slot and a good defensive play by Aiden Sprague to knock down that shot. And now a pass to the right wing. Now down low. And a shot from the point is swallowed up by Buffard, who makes the stop in with two minutes and one second left in the ball game, in the hockey game. Now a pass to the right wing and a shot attempt is tipped just high off the apron of the net. Now a D to D pass goes wide, a tip attempt goes wide as well as Buffard was caught a little bit out of position, none. And Pierce makes a nice play to contain one of the Rockport players and now a shot from the point is off the padding of Buffard. And now a pass into the slot wide open and a fan on the shot as Sprague uh, Ryan attempts to clear, cannot. Rockport just passing around the ice with, we are just about to go under one minute left to play. And the puck gets by the Rockport defenseman and it will go all the way down to their zone and we are under one minute to play. So Swampscott will take their second frustrating loss in a row at home and will fall to 0-2, losing now to Beverly and Rockport. A little bit of a better game by Swampscott, but still to no avail as they lose 4-1. to one. Now, under 30 seconds to go. Rockport still on the five-minute major penalty by McCarthy, and that will go for an icing with just 26 seconds left. Now, Andrevane trying to intercept the pass, cannot. Now, Rockport has a rush up the right side. And Rockport collects it at the point, dumping it in deep. And in the final five seconds, and that will do it. And Swanscott falls to Rockport here at uh, the O'Keefe Center, 4-1, to one, falling to 0-2 on the season. Uh, ben, any thoughts? Final thoughts? Uh, yeah, I mean, Swamps got had improvements from last game, but they just had a lot of small details that made them lose tonight. Uh, there was a lot of negative plays that came from bad defense, and they had a lot of bad passes that just turned the game around for Rockport and gave them this win. Overall, sloppy game for the Big Blue as uh, they still cannot find their second win, their first win of the season. And um, for us, that's Swamps got. Big Blue Athletics. My name is Austin Berry, and uh, joined by my partner, Ben O'Brien. We'll see you next time.